Welcome to AFTV. I have Jake with me one time straight. No messing about today. We're holding an L. Do you know we're holding an L that in my opinion do we deserve we don't I don't think we don't deserve it. We don't deserve it. I don't think we do. I don't know what your thoughts are. From the start of the game, I was confident the red card, the, the first red card just changed the whole dynamic of the game. Should we have come back potentially after they scored their second goal? Should we have made it more of a fight to come back? I don't know, but what's your thoughts? Two it's one. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Um, I wouldn't say we we don't deserve it, but I would say that we've kind of given Wolves the win. To be honest, yes. we've just handed it to them. Um, very frustrating because the first minute, Party does a brilliant ball to Saka, and Saka just unfortunately hits the post. And from there, there's not been many games this season where we've gone from the first minute, and you're like, oh wow, we, like. We're gonna go and win the game. We're gonna, you know, try and progress um, and try and dominate dominate the game, which we did in the first half. We smashed the first half. We had um, quite a few chances. Obviously, Pepe scored his goal. Um, the keeper made another good save from Pepe. We were get like we were getting in behind them constantly, mm. and we were dominating the game. And I think it was twenty seconds before um, half time, we had a goal kick, and then. By the time it, it reached the four, I th it was like 46 41 when we took the goal kick. Oh, is this the half time? Yeah, it should have blown yeah. up. Yeah, we couldn't hit like hearing. I don't, I don't think it should have. I think they got the penalty literally like three seconds before half time. Okay, I promise you. Yeah, but it was annoying. So I, I've watched it again and I've looked at it. It was our goal kick. We've kicked it long. They've won the first ball. Okay, fine. But the second ball, there's Party, Xhaka, and Dava Luis who have all gone for it and they've all missed it. Yeah. Um, what's the striker's name? Is it Jose? I think Jose's knocked it down to yeah. the sentiment of Wolves. He's passed it out to um, Prodence, I think his name is. Yeah, Prodence, yeah. They've kind of pulled us that way. And as they've pulled us that way, and David Luiz is obviously out of position, the striker's run through. And as mm. the striker's running through, he's received the ball again. And then David Luiz has, has clipped him, given away a penalty, sent off. And kind of at that point, if we... At that point, I was really, really frustrated because because we had played so well and we've only been one goal up. You kind of knew we weren't going to win. Do you know what mm. I mean? That I I really felt that that moment really, really changed the game. It changed the game. They went in the half time and said, "This is I'm 100 percent sure this is it. Now they're down to ten men. They're gonna their backs are gonna be against the wall. You, you guys are on the up on the momentum. Like just run with it and just stick it to them. And that's kind of what happened. I, the, sh the their second goal was. You can't really do much about, but no, you can't. They, but you but can't. what I liked about them, and you shouldn't say because you're you're against them. But what I liked about them is the second half they came out with intent to just mm. score that goal, and the moment they scored, like, that we yeah we're never gonna win. How how are you gonna win with ten men, and you're yeah. losing two one? Like mm. you've you've given them a goal, and then the second goal was a brilliant finish. But after they've scored the second goal, all they had to do is keep the ball, and that's what they did. Like, yeah. even when we went down to nine men, they didn't even look that much more threatening. No, they, no, just, they, they didn't go to score more goals. They, as, soon, yeah. as soon as they got down to nine men, they were like, yeah, we'll keep trying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's weird. And that's why I'm frustrated, because they were there for the taking today. And instead of us, you know, making the most of it, we've give, literally said to them, oh, hi, guys, here you go. Like, you can win this game because, you know, we don't, we don't really want to win it. it it's, it's crazy. And the thing is, um, I've said it loads of times, and... Mourinho, Mourinho has said it hundreds of millions of times. The team that makes the least amount of mistakes typically win football matches because yeah. in the Premier League and high standard, high intensity, that's usually what it comes down to. We've made two mistakes today. The second one may not have cost us the game as such because we were already losing, but both of them, in a sense, have a, had a really, really big effect on the game. And yeah. It's frustrating with Arsenal because this typically always happens. That's typical David Luiz today. You know he's got that in him. If it was Xhaka, you wouldn't be surprised. If it was Bellerin, you wouldn't be surprised. They've got it, that in him. I think with Leno, that's kind of like an uncharacteristic mistake. You mm. might say, oh, he's dropped the ball against Chelsea like last season. But that's Leno's never really liked that. And when's the last time he had two men sent off in the same game? Uh, honestly, that's a stat you, that's you, going to be You do your stat show, yeah. Don't worry. That's that's the first one. Um, as soon as uh, we wrap up tonight, that's the first one. Tomorrow morning, that'll be up. But um, you're right. The Leno thing, I think obviously it probably it probably spun up 
quite quickly. I think he didn't expect because he came out no, quite. No, 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 no. Come on, if you're if you're leaving the penalty area as a goalie, you know you can't use your hands. So any other part of your body is diving at that. If you're diving your head at that and you get kicked in the head, oh well, you that's yeah, what you yeah, have to of do as a goalie. I think he ran out of his box, Jake. I think he didn't expect it to. Come, I think he didn't think they expect it to come off the surface that quick. And I, I don't know. Is that, that's what it looked like to me. I, you might have seen it differently. But, but if his arm, his arm is like this close to his body. That's what. I don't oh yeah, no, just, no, no, yeah. Yeah, he, you know what he, I mean? he, he should have put, put his body. Yeah, I know that 100. Yeah. I agree with. Crazy, but crazy. React. I guess it's just it's just as a goalie's first reaction. Yeah. Picked his arm out, but bro, I know. it's just it's just quite disappointing to be honest because we were like we've been on a run, and then obviously we drew um, on Saturday to Man United, yeah. and then you're like, oh okay, that's not too bad. Drawing to Man United, it's missing it's some it's players. It's yeah, but like now you can't really say like if we win the next game, we can't be like, oh you know, we've we've got X amount of points out of the last 27 after the next game. Like, oh, we've mm. only lost one in seven. Okay, but we haven't, like, won eight out of nine. We've mm. drawn a few now, and now we've lost one, which is really, really quite annoying, to be honest. Um, yeah. Because today, like, I know people are talking about top four and stuff. I don't think we get it. But if, I don't we, either. If, if we've thrown the FA Cup away, we have to come as high as possible in the league. And you can't you can't lose games like this. You can't draw to Crystal Palace. You can't draw to Man United. You have to win those games if there's nothing else to play for. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm really really disappointed to be honest because I I thought, and it's always the hope that kills you with Arsenal. I thought, oh okay, we're, we're playing really well in the first half. We're going to win this game. And the life of an Arsenal fan is typical because you know that it's ne- that it's never happens that way. Um, yeah. It's all, I, what, bro, what you said there rings so true. It's always the hope that kills you of Arsenal. Of course it is. That of course it is. is the real real stuff. Right, before we before I end off and wrap up, obviously we have um, Aston Villa on Saturday. Your thoughts now going into that game? Do you think we have enough cover with the red cards to, to, to still give them a good game? Or Yeah, to be honest, you know, Gabriel can come in for um, David Luiz, so I don't think... Yeah. I, I thought Gabriel looked quite good. He made a few tackles. And that's what I was going to say, actually. That was the difference. Um, you see today... Uh, Davi Luiz obviously has made that foul. Look at Bolly on uh, the tackle on Saka where he's literally just nicked the ball and it's gone out for a corner in the first half. Yeah. Do you remember it? Yeah, I remember they're, it. They're the differences. Why for Arsenal do we like never do that? We never just nick the ball. We always have to give away a penalty. And when we play other teams, they never give us a penalty. They just nick the ball. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's always... It's crazy. It's crazy. The oh. amount of times that Davi Luiz has cost us points since he's been with us, I don't know why we've signed him, to be honest. Um... Yeah, it's very frustrating. But against Aston Villa, Aston Villa are a good team. Going away again, um, it's going to be a di- it's going to be a very difficult game. It's going to be a tough yeah. match. I'm like I said earlier, I'm I'm not hoping for anything. I just hope that Saka just keeps performing how he does because I, I really really like him and I thought Party looked really really good today. So definitely, I, I'll end on yeah. a positive like that. Perfect, Jake. Thank you for speaking with us, and we'll see you cool. soon. Yeah. Today's show is sponsored by Profit Accumulator, the number one match betting service in the UK. Match betting is different to gambling. With gambling, you bet on one side, and if that side loses, you lose. With match betting, you bet on both sides. That means no matter what the outcome, you're a winner. When you sign up to Profit Accumulator, they will walk you through the whole process of how to do match betting, and as long as you follow what they tell you, you cannot lose. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description right now for your free trial and you can start earning some real cash.